Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 15th to the 21st of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading Taurus and pull your overarching oracle card for the week. So what do we have for Taurus please? Message for our lovely Taurians, thank you. Thank you. Oh lovely. We have Dragonfly Illusion. You know who you really are. I mean, this can be, you know, where we get false illusions, don't we, from time to time. You know, certainly when we focus on other things rather than our own capabilities. This is about reconnecting to you. Yeah. Don't let things cloud your judgment of who you really are this week. Okay. Message for Taurus, please. Message for Taurus, please, for the weak angels. What is the message for Taurus? Okay, that turned over really quickly. So I have Taurus retreat. Seek and receive consolation from God to overcome a difficult experience. This is a time for reflection, solitude and contemplation. I mean, this is about taking care of you, you know? It's about taking care of you, reconnecting to who you are. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. I'm going to use Hanson Roberts and Morgan Greer this week. So what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for a lovely Taurus, thank you. It's too many, too many, too many. Sorry, they're all flying out. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Taurus. 15th to the 21st of March, 2021, please. Message for Taurus, thank you. So I've got the two of wands in the challenge position. King of Wands. Germany, this is Leo for me as a reader. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female as usual. It's a general reading. And we have Strength, also a card of Leo. Okay. Message for Taurus, please. Message for Taurus, thank you. 15th to the 21st of March, 2021. Can we clarify the cards? On the table for Taurus, thank you. Page of Swords. The Six of Wands. Strength, we have with the Two of Swords, and we have the Ten of Swords, Taurus. Okay. All right. There is definitely, there is some synchronicity here. This is about reconnecting to who you are this week, Taurus. That sense of self. of wands it can be about choices or decisions you know and that that page of swords it, i mean the swords is to do with the mind perspective or clar you know clarity uh, decisions communication it can be that kind of energy the pages are the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change so it might well be you've you've learned something or heard something or there needs to be some kind of decision about your future and you're thinking about it. It feels like you're wanting to get clarity, you know, but in the challenge position, obviously, I think you're, you're needing to get that clarity and maybe to see which way you want to go. This can be a choice between two paths, obviously, the two of wands, but it, it can be about choices about your future. This is somebody who is holding the world in their hands and they're saying, OK, how do I see things panning out? In, in how I need to move forward. 
you know um so some choices or decisions about your future and the message is wait for the clarity to come to you or it can well be something has prompted you learning something this can be truth or information coming your way that's forcing you to make some kind of choice or decision it feels that's a challenge we have leo energies here very strong now it feels in this energy i mean there is definitely some kind of the king of wands can offer you something he can offer you the wand and the wand is the opportunity um so the king of wands can be a leader um very good in terms of business career taurus very good in terms of uh growth um something very much connected to your passions something that you want to take action towards so again this king of wands could be offering you something if this is you this is about being in your power and taking the lead uh, because he is somebody who is not defeatist he is somebody who will keep going until he achieves success until he achieves the goal you know he is somebody who sets his sights on something and then just goes for it and takes action and keeps taking action until the job is done you know so there's an energy of that as well so if this is you taurus maybe making some decisions taking the lead maybe but it can also be a leader very good in terms of business career i have to say and we have it with the six of wands which can be about overcoming challenge and claiming some significant victory uh can also be about recognition public recognition so maybe you're being recognized or noticed this week um, but this is definitely an energy of a significant victory or achievement coming your way like i said it could be somebody who is offering you something or is bringing something into you um, that is enabling you to claim some kind of significant achievement over a challenge Ten of Swords, Taurus, can be a card of betrayal, hurt, um, loss, being wounded. Uh, they have this Ten of Swords in someone's back. It's a, it can be a tough energy, but it's a Ten, which is a completion. So it feels like it's gone as far as it's going to go with this Ten of Swords. And there is a completion in sight here. There is an opportunity to release from the pain, the wounds of what this Ten of Swords meant for you. And overcome it because the Strength card is a card of being in your power. I, I feel that this is all you. I, I'm getting this energy of this being you. You know, the, the two of wands in the challenge position, it can sometimes be the reverse of the card. You know, it can be the energy of the difficulty in making decisions about your future because you don't have the clarity right now. You know, it can be that kind of energy. And this is the strength to look at something in the face because the two of swords is somebody who is either not wanting to look at the truth or doesn't have clarity on how to move forward or make decisions or choices. It feels for some of you there is some kind of difficult decision here, Taurus. But this is about the strength, recognizing your own power. This is also somebody who doesn't see their own power to face something, to rise to the challenge and overcome it. Because there's definitely an energy of you will rise to the challenge and overcome it, claiming a victory. This is the victory parade. 
So I'm definitely getting this energy of the victory parade is coming your way. You have the strength, the capability to face something and make some kind of clear decision or choice to rise to the challenge. Because strength exists when we have fear or adversity or challenge. That's when we discover our own sense of power. And you're absolutely being told now is the time you need to know who you really are. See through the illusion, illusionary energy, the moon in Libra. Moon energy is deceptive energy. And it asks you to connect to who you are, your soul power, your soul light, to really bring clarity to a situation on how you need to move forward. So definitely there is an energy of you have the opportunity, you are strong enough to rise to something and overcome it now, make some kind of choice or decision about what this Ten of Swords is for you. Um, because for some of you, I mean, this is tough energy, but it won't get any worse. Um, but there is a need, it feels there's a need to deal with something because you can bring positive change in your life. You know, recognize yourself as the king of wands, somebody who is in their power, who can take the lead, who will, you know, um, rise to the challenge, go for something, understand how to bring success and growth and you know, fulfill their passions and their unstoppable energies. This is an unstoppable energy. When somebody is in their power, you can see the infinity symbol. It's infinite. So you have the power to claim some kind of victory this week. But it feels like there's some choice, some choice or decision That, that is either difficult to make or that you're just weighing up right now. And the message is really trust your intuition. And you'll know how to overcome it. But it feels quite a tough energy here, Taurus, I have to say. Yeah, bottom of the deck. I don't need to really. You know, new happiness is waiting for you. The Ace of Cups. This is emotional rebirth. New beginning energy new beginning I mean it, the ace of cups it's not necessarily just a physical new beginning it can be an emotional new beginning for you so overcoming something and claiming an emotional beginning self-love energy here can also be yes a new offer of love coming to you can be new pets new friendships forming new bonds forming uh, the beginnings of a new phase in your life that is the beginnings of happiness and fulfillment I definitely get this energy. You have the opportunity to bring this happiness your way. And this is the divine energy pouring love and light into you. You are the chalice. So first and foremost, the Ace of Cups is divine love is shown you here. But you're being told to recognize your strength because when you connect to your strength, you have the power to claim some kind of significant achievement, victory. Feels very beautiful. I'm going to pull a final card, Taurus. Mm, we have celebration. Interesting. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out, dance and play. play. An invitation could be on its way. It's interesting. I mean, this can also be the Ace of Cups can be a card of an offer, an opportunity. It can be creative offers, creative opportunities. Uh, but it's something that is happy, fulfilling, that brings you joy. Um, it's uplifting energy, the Ace of Cups. And it's very much connected to your destiny. And as something ends, this is coming in. So there is an opportunity now to reconnect your strengths. There may well be some decision that you need to make here. But there is absolutely an energy of you have the power to overcome and claim some significant achievement this week and put a difficult situation behind you. And you know, the Six of Wands, I always call the Six of Wands the bring it on energy because this is a voyage of discovery, self-discovery of, of their own power. It's Leo energy again, power energy of your own strength and power to overcome something and put it behind you. So that is definitely an energy of just bring it on now. I'm ready. 
I'm ready for everything that comes my way because I've overcome a challenge already. So it, it feels very beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Taurus. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope, I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.